Carlo from University of Rome to Vergata and I'm leading a group uh, which is the Center for Hybrid and Organic Solar Energy. So I am a physicist but uh, I, mo I moved uh, many years ago in the engineer department and uh, I'm doing chemistry now. So I'm just a mixed person doing uh, several things. Uh, the most important activity we do in the center is to uh, use new uh, photovoltaic technology and uh, try to scale up these photovoltaic technologies uh, for industria, industrial exploitation. Uh, we are mainly focused on um, uh, uh, printed uh, photovoltaics, uh, so we do uh, organic photovoltaics, uh, dye solar cell, and recently we moved to uh, perovskite solar cells. Mm -hmm. uh, organic and hybrid photovoltaics, in particular perovskite, are, are attracting uh, uh, a lot of interest, uh, both from a uh, science point of view and industrial point of view. There are several reasons for this. Uh, um, let's say, I mean, one of important point is that uh, it's, a it's a solution process uh, technology. So we can use conventional printing uh, equipment uh, or technology to fabricate the, the solar cells and uh, we can, for example, we can spray coating, so then it's conformal, we can slot dye, we can screen print, so we can do a lot of this uh, conventional technology for making uh, a device which is quite unique. I mean, we need to imagine that uh, perovskite solar cell in the last few years have increased enormously the efficiency of, uh, of solar cell or photovoltaic conversion from 9% uh, up to uh, the recent record of 22.1%. So this means that we can fabricate in a, in a simple way by using printing technology and by controlling all the materials from the beginning to the end, which is not possible with silicon. There are several drawbacks on organic and hybrid uh, photovoltaics. Uh, which are related to the maturity of the technology. Uh, one of the problem uh, that I believe can be solved now, but I mean one of the problem was the uh, overall efficiency of the, uh, the photovoltaic. And uh, because of course, I mean, uh, organic photovoltaics, also some hybrid photovoltaic like Dysolar Cell, uh, can reach an efficiency that could be, let's say, of the order of 10%. Uh, which is far below to the silicon photovoltaics. Of course, uh, one can use this technology for other applications, but this means that we need to uh, develop new applications for the photovoltaics. And at the moment, there are very few examples of other applications besides the power generation that we know in uh, silicon. Uh, this uh, problem, however, has been solved, uh, I believe, recently because this uh, new hybrid organic and organic uh, photovoltaic, uh, like the perovskite uh, solar cell, uh, has shifted the efficiency up to 20, uh, more than 20 percent, which is a level similar to the silicon photovoltaic. So um, it's a new uh, technology, uh, the, matur the maturity level is uh, low, we need to stabilize the technology, we need to solve the problem of lead because uh, one of the material, important material is lead which, is, uh, which has some problem for, um, uh, which is poisoning and so on and so forth. So, uh, but uh, the interest is so large and a lot of um, uh, research team are involved nowadays all over the world that I believe this will be uh, a successful story. Uh, the photovoltaic uh, sector uh, was uh, well developed, developing in the past uh, and, uh, and it has some problem now from the jo job point of view to, to attract uh, uh, our uh, students or to attract uh, or the people we form. Um, uh, however, I believe that new applications are coming uh, which could supply new uh, jobs. Uh, Internet of Things need energy and is spread all over 
so energy harvesting will be uh, one of the main point for the use of uh, photovoltaics. And this will be a huge market and uh, organic photovoltaic, hybrid photovoltaic are especially suited for such kind of problems because, for example, the efficiency the, that organic and hybrid photovoltaics has with indoor lighting is much larger than any silicon technology. So uh, such kind of application, I believe, will attract a lot of person and a lot of students. So uh, this will be a new application of the photovoltaic. Nevertheless, I believe that uh, the progresses we are, made, we are making in the last years will be also important to have back in Europe a, uh, an industry, a photovoltaic, a strong photovoltaic industry. Because uh, we need to remember that uh, m the main uh, discovery in this field has been made in Europe. So, um, if Europe is able to uh, focus resources on uh, industrialization of this uh, uh, new technology, I believe this will be a successful story, both from the power generation and also for uh, ICT application.